Shalom, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to my elder apostles and my elders, a great millstone GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect. All right, this is the brother Atazaria from GMS Houston. And in this lesson, okay, which uh, depending on what the Lord says, it's just going to be a quick hit, okay? Um, I'd like to go into uh, uh, just really just touch on grace, okay? Because this lesson could really be, this lesson could go on for days actually, but um, me and the brother was talking, you know, grace and mercy go hand in hand, you know? And it's it, grace, uh, 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 that's, that's, that's definite gigantical mercy okay from the heavenly father grace is given to us okay all right that is a gift given to us in order to get ourselves right okay we are under grace okay because the scriptures say by grace are you saved all right now just to mm -hmm. put a stamp on that um you know that doesn't mean like the scriptures say, you know, grace is not to be abused, though. You know, that don't mean just, OK, we under grace. So I'm just, you know, just be all willy nilly and I'm going to just do whatever, you know. No, grace is the time that we are allot allotted by Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, OK, to get ourselves in order. OK, now I want to go into a couple of scriptures. And uh, Lord willing, this will be edifying. All right. And this is from the book of Proverbs chapter one. I'm going to start right up at the top. OK, it says the Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel. OK, to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding. OK, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice and judgment and equity to give subtlety to the simple to the young man knowledge and discretion okay a wise man will hear and will increase learning and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels all right plural counsels all right to understand a proverb and the interpretation the words of the wise and their dark sayings okay which that's all through the scriptures dark sayings okay proverbs OK. Um, and you have to the, the most high has to give you that understanding to get what these dark sayings are talking about. OK. What these proverbs are talking about to get the interpretation. All right. To get the understandings. OK. Of what these words are talking about. OK. To understand Yahweh Shah HaMashiach. Ultimately. OK. And Yahweh 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 Shah. OK. It says to understand a proverb, Proverbs 1 and 6, and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. OK, dark sayings, parables. OK, that's why when the disciples came to the Lord, they say, why are you speaking to them in parables? He says, because it's for you to have to understand and roughly paraphrasing of the kingdom of heaven. But to them, it ain't given. OK. Um. So it says. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Okay? So, again, this is where it all stems from. Having a fear of the Lord. Okay? Okay, my son, he, he fears me. He he He's trying to do what, uh, you know, he's trying to, he he, he has a, a reference, reverence for me. Okay? And he's trying to do right because he's scared of me. Okay? That's where it starts, okay? Because you're scared of what may happen, okay? What what judgment may come, all right? From Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Fear is a motivator, okay? Fear is a motivator. Fear of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai will make you get right, okay? So you either have to fear the Lord. Or you don't have to fear the Lord, okay? And that's where it all begins. The fear of the Lord, Proverbs 1 and 7, is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. And that's the scriptures, man, okay? My son, hear the instruction of thy father and forsake not the law of thy mother. For they shall be an ornament 
okay, of grace into thy head and chains about thy neck, you see, for they shall be an ornament of grace, okay, what, starting with the fear of the Lord, okay, understanding Proverbs, interpretations, okay, these instructions, okay, this wisdom, this shall be an ornament of grace unto thy head, okay, and chains about thy neck, okay, you know, you wearing an ornament or, you know, Jake like to wear their piece and chain, okay, that's how grace will be worn, okay, by a man of the Lord, man, okay, starting with the fear, all the way down to this, for they shall be an ornament of grace. All of these things, wisdom, okay, the instruction, the interpretation of proverbs and dark sayings, all right, the words of the wise, okay. All these shall be an ornament unto the unto thy head and chains about thy neck, okay. Jake like to shine. Put on some grace, okay? Get get your get your grace up. Instead of your 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 bling up, get your grace up, man. Okay. Now I want to get one more scripture from 1 Corinthians 15 and start about the ninth verse and see what it says about grace. Alright. Because grace is a very powerful thing, man. Okay. Um 1 Corinthians, this is Paul, 1 Corinthians 15 and 9. For I am the least of the apostles, okay, that I am not meet to be called an apostle, all right, because I persecuted the church of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay, but by grace of the heavenly Father, you see, how do you, how does grace, how has grace attained? First of all, it's a gift, but what did it start with? The fear of the Lord, okay. You have to have a fear of the Lord in order to obtain grace. Okay? It says, But by grace of the Heavenly Father, I am what I am. And at this point, what was Paul? He was preaching. Yahweh Shai, crucified and risen. Okay? It says, But by grace of the Heavenly Father, he had he was changed. Okay, and now grace is being exercised. So what is he doing during that time of grace? But by grace of the Heavenly Father, I am what I am, preaching this word, not persecuting the church no more, but pushing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all, Yet not I, but the grace of the Heavenly Father, which was with me. I'm going to read that one more time. It says, but by the grace of the Heavenly Father, I am what I am. The grace, man. It says, and his grace, which was bestowed upon me. See, grace was bestowed upon us. We didn't just go choose grace. Grace is given okay but by the grace which was bestowed upon me was not salakia and his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain but i labored more abundantly than they all yet not i so it wasn't him but the grace of the heavenly father which was with me you see so grace is a powerful thing, man. We need grace, okay? We need grace. That's mercy from the Heavenly Father, man. His grace, okay? That gift of grace, all right? Um, and I mean, that's pretty much it. I just had wanted to touch on that. Me and the brother sat around, you know, earlier today, you know, just speaking just going going through the scriptures man okay building in the scriptures all right and this lesson came about from when we were standing on the block brother was reading first uh, uh proverbs the first chapter 
and he had stopped, I think, like at six or seven, something like that. But I kept on reading. And I was like, man, yeah, grace is something else, man. Okay? And not something to be taken lightly at all. Okay? So, Lord willing, this was edifying. Okay? It blew my brain. Okay? When I, when I was sitting there. And I've read it a million times, but the Spirit jolted me when I read it that particular time. You know? And that's what spawned this lesson. All right? And, Lord willing, again, it was edifying. All right? And I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory. To Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash, who bestowed grace upon me, as well as all the rest of the, the like minded men. Okay? Double honors to my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect. Okay? And it's on to the next one. Don't take this grace and this time lightly. Use it, utilize it, and use it wisely. Okay? And the elect will. Peace and blessings to the elect. It's on to the next one. Until then, I say shallow warm.